In a way, uh, we're all living through the end of an era. And uh, we can see the beginnings of the new era all around us. And the end, uh, it's the end of the fossil fueled early industrial era with all of those technologies uh, which were completely oblivious of their effect on natural systems, basically. And we are shifting into uh, what I call the solar age. And this means that we really have to re-perceive everything. And so in a real sense, uh, there's no shortage of money. That's the biggie. It's just uh, a crisis of perception. We don't realize uh, that we design money and we humans designed all of these malfunctioning technologies and that we have all of the technologies at hand, many have been suppressed for generations, uh, to create a really harmonious um, a, a, a technology uh, which respects the earth and we can decentralize our uh, economic systems and our political systems, that there can be much more uh, participation at the local level. Uh, all of these things uh, are at our fingertips, uh, but we do have to take our attention off the mainstream mass media, uh, off the, um, the usual political mainstream discussion, and um, perceive our own communities again uh, as, um, as the source um, of building this uh, new kind of society. So it's all absolutely doable, but we do have to take off those uh, rose-colored spectacles, you know, that told us that uh, um, President Obama was going to be able to handle things. Uh, as I've been telling my friends for a long time, and this is a really old one, is that we are the leaders that we have been waiting for. Most people um, are, are really getting the point, um, whether it's getting together. It begins with uh, neighborhood meetings, figuring out um, how your town is operating, what your local resources are, um, where can you find um, the food you need within 100 miles of where you live, um, finding um, the, uh, the entrepreneurs, finding uh, the local credit unions. I mean, I'm just in the process now with our company of uh, taking our bank account um, and putting it in the nearest credit union. All of these things, uh, are step by step things that people can do. You know, all of the things that people can now do um, around their own homes, um, everything from changing the light bulbs to turning down uh, the uh, power, you know, the heating and the air conditioning, um, victory gardens. Uh, there's, there's just so much people can do. And of course, um, uh, back to um, our theme uh, is, is, um, is supporting ethical businesses, fair trade, uh, and uh, doing local currencies, uh, local time banking. Um, I think the time banking is particularly important because it can be done, um, you know, totally like uh, whether it's in an apartment building or um, on a street, find out who your neighbors are. Uh, all of the things that um, we used to use money for uh, money was a way from uh, it was a way of disintermediating from your neighbors, you know, and we got to rely on money to solve our conflicts. You know, you hire a lawyer uh, and all of that kind of thing. It's all to do with uh, with rebinding uh, local communities and understanding that globalization is not going to go away because I believe that human beings um, will be a global species. 
because uh, this is in our DNA, really. We've been evolving for millions of years, and, and we're, we're not going to stop now. But it, it does mean that um, we have to, to integrate our local community appropriately with the national government. And um, I like to use the metaphor of cells. And uh, every cell in our body uh, has a membrane around it. But it's a semi-permeable membrane. And that's what local cultures are about. Uh, deciding what trade they want to do with the outside world, what they want to let in, uh, what they want to keep out, and what they want to preserve about their local culture, and what they uh, love about um, the broader culture. And I, I've always um, said that world trade um, is, is really going to be um, in uh, shipping around recipes, not cakes and cookies. In other words, nobody needs to, you don't need to have uh, ships full of cars crossing each other in the Pacific. Uh, that's not uh, world trade, that's just pure entropy. Um, most, uh, uh, most local areas can produce most of the stuff they need. And what needs to be in world trade um, is really the ideas, uh, the recipes, uh, valuing each other's uh, food and art and music and culture. Um, it, it's going to be a shift from hardware to software. And um, I, I welcome that kind of world trade uh, with new rules, um, you know, which protect the environment and uh, protect human rights. All of that, we know how to do all of these things. And so we have a big um, redesign job. It's like um, a design revolution from top to bottom. And that ought to be fun because everybody can be involved.